Good evening, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and a night we're calling Food for Thought, a double bill of comedies featuring something edible in the titles, both anchored by performers with well-established comedy personas. Up first from Paramount in 1930, the Marx Brothers, Groucho, Chico, Harpo, and Zeppo in Animal Crackers. This marked the second feature film for the brothers following the Coconuts from 1929. It's also the final picture they made before making the big move west to Hollywood. They'd released their first movie in Hollywood the next year, 1931. That was Monkey Business. Much like their first film, the word plot is used fairly liberally when describing Animal Crackers. This is mostly a sequence of gags and enormously clever bits of dialogue. Much of the action takes place at a swanky mansion filled with uptight swells, like most swells. There's a party thrown in honor of a Captain Spaulding. That's Groucho, who has returned triumphantly from his latest expedition to Africa. We soon learn a priceless painting has vanished, and the scene is set for an archaic action typical of the Marx Brothers. Animal Crackers also features the ultimate comedy straight man, in this case, a woman, Margaret Dumont. Consistently alongside the Marx Brothers is a stuffy, wealthy society matron, Dumont first appeared with the brothers on stage before sharing the screen with them in seven of their films. Dumont understood her role perfectly. There's an art to playing straight, she noted in a 1942 interview. You must build up your man, but never top him, never steal the laughs from him. Dumont reunited with Groucho in 1965 on the ABC Variety series, The Hollywood Palace, to recreate one of the film's most memorable scenes, the arrival of Captain Spaulding. Here's the film from Paramount in 1930. This is Animal Crackers. Animal Crackers features a couple of unforgettable musical moments from Groucho Marx. Hooray for Captain Spaulding became Groucho's signature tune and served as the theme for his long-running radio and TV game show, You Bet Your Life. The other, Hello, I Must Be Going, Groucho performed along with Margaret Dumont. He also resurrected it for his sold-out show at Carnegie Hall in 1972. Music was a critical component of the Marx Brothers' success. Groucho had been promoted as a vocalist early in his vaudeville career and was a skilled guitarist as well. Chico's flashy style of playing the piano was also perfected on vaudeville, and shooting the keys with his fingers to accent notes became a signature style. Harpo, he was self-taught on the harp, developing a playing style all his own that would fascinate the music teachers Harpo would hire to help him improve his playing. Harpo released three albums of harp music in the 1950s. Coming up, we fast forward four decades for our second food-themed comedy romp, starring an actor-director heavily influenced by the Marx Brothers. From 1971, Woody Allen's Bananas is next on TCM. Next on TCM, Bananas, then the bakery girl of Monceau, and later, Passing Fancy. TCM gives you the silent treatment tonight.